and a pleasant good morning to you. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in lovely Frederick, Colorado. And today, guys, I'm going to show to, I'm going to show you guys a 2020, a used 2020 M2 112 Summit Hauler conversion. And this one behind me is a bit unique when it comes to storage and just the look of it. So today, I will tell you why buy this trailer over why buy this uh, truck. Sorry, uh, over. Um, our competition out there and of course today guys right behind me as you could see I spread it out open the hood open the doors all the storage compartments just to give you a quick look of what this truck looks like with all doors open and there is a lot of doors <laughs> it's crazy so guys let's take a quick look welcome to our used 2020 black M2 112 summit hauler conversion and of course today let's start in the front and then we'll head all the way back guys right now you are looking at the Detroit diesel DD 13 this one has 505 horsepower and just over seven 1750 foot-pounds of torque Pretty awesome. This is also partnered with our Allison six-speed automatic transmission, and this this vehicle runs like a gem. Um, like I said, it's a used 2020, so it still have the majority of its uh, warranty left on it. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, we'll go over all the warranty stuff with you when you come in and test drive this vehicle. And of course, uh, this is take a look at this engine a little bit closer. Everything in here is pretty much labeled so you can see exactly what you're looking at so right here you can see your power steering fluid up here is your coolant and of course the detroit diesel engine it actually shows that stamp on top here shows the dd13 taking a look right down here at the tires we do have the Michelin 275-80 R22.5. All right, now guys, we have this vehicle price pretty awesome, so give us a call. Um, just because this vehicle is used, you don't have to pay that 12% FET tax that is on our new uh, units when it comes to the M2112. The GVWR on this one is 33,000 um, pounds, so anything above uh, I think 26 if I'm correct um, the government uh, has this mandated 12% uh, added tax onto the vehicle so um, because it's new right now so you guys will be saving thousands of dollars not buying new and buying used when it comes to the M2 112s all right we always show you guys a unique feature when it comes to the hood going down in case a big storm comes while you're working on it to win um, a strong wind passes if this pushes it actually stops you know so to avoid any collision with you or anybody else inside there or sometimes you're trying to close this and somebody just decide to walk in and look at it they will have enough time to actually hold himself back or get out of the way so all you need to do now is just a soft push and that's easy we got clips on both sides, lock that down in place to make sure your hood is secure going down the road. Checking out the grill in front. The newer grills right now is made by the C9 company and it just brings this look out of, you know, on this truck, especially with the chrome on black. It's pretty awesome. So we have the Summit Hauler logo up here. Of course, it was designed or made by the C9 company. Looking down from the hood, we have a three-piece bumper. And the good thing about having a three-piece bumper is if for some reason or the other, you hit either piece of this bumper in an accident or God forbid, you know, you hit an animal um, and you break any of these or dent any of these, you could change individual 
um, parts of the bumper. So you don't have to replace the whole bumper. You could just, whichever part that is damaged, you could just replace that part. So that's a nice little feature to have. Looking up top, <clears throat> as you can see, we have a huge windshield. And that's something that's really awesome, especially when sitting down inside the cab. There's so much clearance and so much you could see um, when driving this truck. So that's a huge safety feature. So when driving this truck, you could actually see way in front of you. So you have, you know, enough time to stop or enough time to, you know, to get, you know, just prepare yourself for whatever um, is coming. Uh, so the view is amazing up here. So when we go inside, we'll actually show you a nice view of the, of the uh, windshield view. On top, we have the, the windshield visor and we have dual horns on here. So the air horns are included with this truck. Um, it's just one of those horns I will tell you, get out of my way, you know, I'm coming. So um, let's take a look down here. And again, because it's our summit hauler, we do have those auto balances on, on each tire and that just gives you a smoother ride. And of course, it allows you that wear and tear on your tires. So um, that will give you a, a little longer lasting uh, tire on there. We got the breakable mirrors. Um, so for some reason you hit a tree or something, you know, that, tree, that uh, mirror will actually bend and not break. So that's a nice little feature to have as well. So that just saves you a lot of money not breaking your mirrors and have to replace the whole thing. So um, this is a nice little feature. Down here we have our engine block heater. This switch here you plug into a 110. And then we have our trickle charger plug in right here. Basically what I would do, it will actually charge your batteries on this unit um, because the batteries are located in the back end of the truck. So you have that trickle charger right here. Def tank, because it's a 112, we have a bigger def tank on there. This is a 13 gallon def tank. Our diesel tank, we do have two 50, 50 gallon tanks, uh, 50 on this side and 50 on the other. And of course, like I always say, a good way to know how much diesel fits in this tank. Um, each tank is supposed to have like a, a stamp on there and it will show you total capacity, 50 US gallons. So as you can see right here, it shows that 50 gallon here. And on the other side, it will show that stamp also as well. Since we up here, it does come with the uh, black leather interior. Um, front seats are heated and cooling. They're both air ride seats also. And these are one of the most comfortable seats on the market right now. So I would, I would actually, you know, test you guys and see which seat on Freightliners right now are the most comfortable. And I would, I would tell you that Summit Hauler seats right now are one of the most comfortable seats on the market. Like I said, we do have the air ride, heated and cooling seats. You have your kill switch beneath the, uh, the driver's seat, of course, key. And if, as you guys can see right now, all the, all the little highlights here, we do have that carbon fiber look on the handles, the dash, and throughout inside the cab. Another thing I like about our Summit haulers and why I buy our Summit haulers is that we, we, we are keen on safety. So going in and out of this truck, there are so many handles to grip on to enter this truck. <clears throat> and behind this metal handle here, there is a little uh, plastic un um, rubber inside. So it's not too cold when going in and out of this uh, vehicle during the winter. So, uh, and again, it's not slippery um, when you're trying to hold onto it. <clears throat> and again, for the back seat as well, we have one out here. We got a handle over here handle up here and of course the door handle for easy access in and out of the cab. Back seat does fold down into a bed. A lot of my customers ask that question and all our summit haulers we ensure that we do have that option as well. So as you guys could see 
lays flat into a bed. All those, uh, all those seat belts come out, as you guys can see. All of them will slip out. And of course, we have a nice, huge DVD player up here. This is um, separate from the sound system. So when you plug into that, you have headphones, uh, infrared headphones, so the kids could watch their the TV up here. And of course, you could listen to your music up front. Something we don't mention often is that uh, we have a, a subwoofer built in underneath the seat, underneath the bench seat. Um, I don't know if you guys could see that box underneath that seat here. <coughs> That just gives you a little, a little bass when listening to music. And that's something I look forward to driving my truck every day is the sound system I put inside of it. Oh, that came with it actually. Um, and just give you some really nice sound clarity. Um, it is the Kenwood system. So Kenwood makes some awesome, awesome uh, speakers and sound systems. Guys, check the back end, tons of storage. Um, actually, the person who first ordered this um, built it like this, so he had the option of adding more storage to that unit. And as you can see, we tried to use as much, uh, try to utilize more as much space as we have to actually give you the amount of storage that in this unit right now. So let's take a look up here first. Let me take those brake pads out. All right. So as you guys can see, um, right now we have this storage box that goes all the way through the other side. If you don't want to open this door, you can actually open the door up here. And this door actually closes and locks. Two lock in here and you can actually lock it with a key for security. And as you guys can see right now, with this door closed, the amount of room we still have here to work with. Of course, we do have all, our, all on all our summit haulers, we have the, uh, the airline. So if you wanna hook up your, if you wanna put air in your tires or in any of your tubes or anything like that, you have your airline here. A second door right here. And if I just turn this on, we have LED lights throughout the, the cab. We got one in the center. We got one above. So when it comes to lighting up this storage compartment, we got lights throughout. Another nice little storage box up here where you can put your tools, you know, and little things you want to get to right away. And of course, you have your LED light here as well. You can turn that off, close it up. And of course, once you seal this in, because we wash this, you see a little um, water inside there. But once we, once we close this up, no water is going to go inside those storage boxes because it has that seal right here. A little storage box up here as well and of course it does have an LED light as well inside here right here so it's pretty awesome um, how this one was built very unique um, so again I like we like to show people why buy a Freightliner and I have two brake pads with me a lot of people like to say, okay, it's a bigger truck and it's bigger brake pads. But just, just imagine the amount of load that you carry. And let's say you carry 30,000 pounds with this truck, but you want to carry those, that same 30,000 pounds on your regular pickup, like your F350 or 3500 or 450, whatever the case may be. This is the brake pad on this Freightliner. And this is the brake pad on your F350, 3500. 30,000 pounds behind you and you need to stop. Come on guys, this is a great investment. Again, with regular maintenance, regular care of this truck, you could go up to a million miles. On a F350, max what? Three, 400,000 miles maybe, if you take care of it. 
And of course, that's like two or three times this truck. So you could hold this truck for three of your pickups. And I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, okay, just gonna store this in here and we'll move on. This truck does come in for bumper pool. Um, right now I have a, a nice little uh, casing on here. So it does have a seven pin hookup up here for power. And of course, a 20,000 pound hitch on the back end of this truck. Right now you are seeing a gooseneck hookup right now on this truck. This one is a stock trailer that CJ just did not too long ago. This is a 2015 stock trailer. Right now it's hooked up to the gooseneck ball that comes with this truck, seven pin hookup. And of course we do have the Voyager system on this truck also. Um, this is a, a connector here to plug in two mill cameras, uh, two plugins. Uh, so you could actually add two cameras with this hookup right here. But the Voyager system actually um, is designed to hold four cameras so you have the option of adding four cameras to this vehicle we already have one hook up to this vehicle so you could add an additional three now as you could see the metal um, the diamond plate bed storage in the back here where you could put stuff in front of the trailer we have additional lighting if you could see in the back end of the the box the storage boxes this is a nice little feature. Let me just turn on the light so you guys could see. So as you can see right now, I have those lights on and look how bright those white lights are. Um, so when you're hooking up to your trailer at night, you, there's a separate switch for that. And I'll show you guys inside that will turn this on. And that would just that would just brighten up the the whole back end of this truck. We got four tie downs on the bed of the truck, two in the back and two in the front. And of course, more storage boxes up here, like the other side with LED lighting inside all the storage boxes. And guys, I could go on and on with this truck um, with all the features on there. But again, that's something we go over with our customers every time we on a test drive or have an appointment with customers. Or when we deliver in those trucks to the customers, we go over everything with you so we don't miss out anything. So just uh, when, we come, when we come for delivery time, um, set about an hour with us or more to just go over this truck. So. Um, this video is normally go for 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes max, but there's so much to this truck that we cannot give you every single detail like in one video. So we want to take our time and go over everything with you. So this one is no different. We have that 800 pound counterweight in the back end of the truck. Of course, when the truck is light, you know, the, the, back, the front end is more heavier than the back. So our engineers and our bosses actually created this 800 pound counterweight after years of you know kind of trying to figure out what's the best weight to put in the back and of course that worked out and people driving without even when we test driving this truck without anything on there um, people don't even feel like you know the back is light so that just a good feature that summit hauler came up with to make this truck unique all right all the storage boxes and all of them are lockable the keys are included this is the other 50 gallon tank on here and of course the back seat here so I'll have you go inside for a quick minute just kind of show you guys what the interior looks like with the uh, all the carbon fiber we have throughout this truck kind of just show you guys what that DVD player looks like nice big screen the DVD goes in on this side this end of the of the player and of course like I said it comes with infrared headphones so um, you could the, your family in the back could listen to and watch a movie while you're driving and listening to your radio or 
um, whatever music you have on your Apple Play or Android. Uh, tons of cup holders. Look at that, guys. I'm about 5'10", five, five, and I could almost stand up in this truck. Um, so the amount of headroom there is on here, especially sitting down in the uh, passenger seat, tons of headroom. So if in case, you know, my air ride is going through, I, I wouldn't hit my head at all. So that's a nice little safety feature to have as well. The amount of headroom compared to your regular pickup. Um, storage boxes in here. You have tons of storage inside here to put, you know, certain items. And if you look at the dash, the dash is well made. And this is our look um, in terms of the way the dash is uh, angled with your Kenwood deck. It does come with navigation. It does come with um, Android and Apple Play. Air brake for your truck, air brake for your trailer, power windows, power locks. And this is a switch I was telling you guys about that will turn on the lights in the back of the bed. It's called OPT. Um, so we use this switch to turn on the lights in the bed. So right now I turn this off. And right now the truck is dumped. All the air in the back is dumped. Um, this is a switch here to release the air back into the back, the rear of the truck. Engine brake, we got the J brake on this one. It does have high and low. Center is off, up is high, down is low. And like I said, center is off. It does come with a trailer brake system for electronic and hydraulic braking for your trailers. Tons of USB ports here for charging, AC controls. We do have a rear AC unit, so you have your own controls for the rear of the, of the truck. So red is hot, blue is cold, and these are the fans. You got three different levels. Up, down, up, center, and down. Um, Voyager system. So the camera I'm showing you right now is the camera that comes with the truck. It has a separate screen for your, for your viewing of the cameras. Um, right now you could see your trailer plus the sky. <laughs> um, you could pretty much see, you know, a lot of your trailer and, you know, on both sides of the trailer as well. So that's a nice little camera system up here. Like I said, you could add an additional four camera, uh, three cameras to this. So by pressing this button here, it could change you change the view of each camera individually. So that's camera two, camera three, camera four. After camera four, that's where the screen starts splitting in twos, threes, and fours. So right now you could see camera one and two. If you press it again, you could see camera one, two, and three. And if you press it again, one, two, three, and four. So once those cameras are installed, you'll see little boxes on each side here. And of course, press it back again, you're gonna see your camera one. This is your, your handle for your air horn. And this is your normal uh, horn here. Like I said, this one just came in uh, a few weeks ago. It ran, it, we sent it through the shop to make sure we did our safety check, change all our fluids. So this truck is ready and set to go. This truck mileage right now is 20,000. 542 miles. Um, most of the mileage was leaving this slot to go to Georgia and leaving Georgia to come back here and the mileage in between um, the guy who purchased it used it to to do his uh, his business. So a lot of mileage was just traveling from here to Georgia and Georgia back here and of course in between was the guy doing his job with this truck. So um, this truck um, still has a lot of life to it. Like I said, it's only have 20,000 miles. If you take care of this truck, regular maintenance, we got an A and B, um, A and B service. And this, let me give you a teaser here. So this is the A service list for our technicians. Uh, this is about two hours service. And look at all what they go through on an A service. That's a lot in two hours. And of course, on the B service, it's a four hour, it's a four hour um, service. 
and that's just half of the list i'm missing page two on this one i apologize for that but that's just page one of two so they go through all of this on your regular on your a and b services so you know that freightliner is cares about you know their their the unit they care about their product so they give you all that assurity that once they go through those regular maintenance on this on those trucks that those trucks will last you a very very long time so um, when it comes to um, you know investing in a good product our summit haulers and freightliner is the way to go you know so I know prices might be you know a little up there for you but when you think about it two or three pickup trucks this will be less than that so this will last you a long time take care of it it will take care of you like I said look at the screen up here look at the windshield how wide it is you could see everything in front of you you know as far as the front of the bumper as well so this is just a nice clear view again guys if you want any more information on this vehicle or any of our vehicles on our lot this is brand new to our lot um, we got a few people you know asking about this vehicle so I decided to do a video today to kind of show and show off this vehicle more so if you guys are interested please give me a call yours truly Marlon Bledman at 303 684 3412 or my cell at 661 755 4344 or you could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com and a lot of people ask that question where is the accent from I, have, I was originally born on the island of St. Lucia and moved to the United States about eight years ago so yes I am from the Caribbean so that's where you hear the accent so uh, for all those people asking those questions when they call me yes I'm from the islands and yes I'm in Colorado in the cold yeah I love the winter so don't <laughs> don't judge me so thank you guys for tuning in again and I will see you guys next week next week uh, it is Christmas week I uh, will still be doing videos up to Christmas Eve um, so look forward to us we'll be in our Santa hats maybe some of us might be Santa Claus you never know um, but please tune in next week for more videos and uh, thank you guys for tuning in again thank you very much goodbye